Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. It is November 19th, getting close to Thanksgiving. This video, we are looking at the four-game slate for basketball tonight, starting at 7 o'clock. Let's get started. As always, if you enjoyed the videos, please share the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It was a good day yesterday. I posted the updates once we got the Miami news. Once we found out they only had seven players going to play in that game, I'd load up on some of them. I uh, ended up putting up a 352 on DraftKings. Only guy that cost us was Michael Porter Jr. It could have been a ma massive night. And then on FanDuel, put up 340.3, which cashed in double ups and cash games over there in some tournaments. But nice to have a finally have like a big, big night. See if we make it another one tonight on this four gamer. So starting off with the point guard picks today. First off, you have some of these teams on back to backs and a lot of injury news. Tyrese Halliburton left the game, uh, he helped off the court. Don't expect him to play on a back-to-back, -back, dealing with an ankle. And Tyrese Maxey, same thing. He left the game, didn't return. He got off to a great start, but he was also coming off of a foot injury. So you can probably expect those guys to be ruled out for this game. It's a back-to-back, -back, um, and those things tend to flare up the next day even more. So at the point guard spot, Lillard is 10K. I mean, there's probably some values that I'm going to look to instead. Uh, like if those guys are out, then you're going to be wanting to start with like uh, TJ McConnell, who probably start for the Pacers. We've seen him back with his days with the Sixers, have some good games. Back with this last year and the year before when he was with the Pacers. And when they were shorthanded, he would step in the starting lineup and give you opportunities for assist. Score a little bit. He's not much of an aggressive scorer. But he can chip in with a little bit of everything. Points, rebounds, and assist. So at $3,800 in a great matchup against the Magic. It's going to be tough to not have him. And then the other guy, I love that he's shooting guard eligible as well, is Shake Milton. He's only $3,100, and I played 31 minutes last night against the Bucks. He's going to start in place, start the second half in place of Tyrese Maxey, and he will start again today if Maxey is out. That already could be without Tobias as well, and expect MB to play, but with it being a back-to-back, -back, you know, who knows? Right now, I expect MB to play, and the way that he's been rolling... But you're going to want to get to Shake Milton for sure on the Sixers side. He's just way too cheap at $3,100. Uh, if there is no Maxi today. Other picks at shooting guard would be some of the Indiana Pacers without Halliburton, who takes on a lot of usage and gives dishes out a lot of assists. So like Buddy Heald coming off of uh, his first. The last two games have been kind of tough scoring-wise, but at least against Charlotte, he was able to contribute with some other peripheral stats. Last game just tough against the, the Rockets last night, but... At this price tag against Orlando, I still like him, given if there is no Halliburton. Clarkson and the Jazz continue to impress. Nice win last night against the, the Suns. It was a hard-fought game, high-scoring. Now they're going into Portland. Now we'll see. I don't, I'm not going crazy on the Jazz guys unless some of them happen to be ruled out on the back-to-back. -back. But I would look to DeAnthony Melton you know, if Maxie's out and if Tobias is out or either one of those guys are out. And value guys, just going to be Shake Milton as my favorite. You saw Beasley. Could be a nice GPP play off the bench. And like Diabo, but he's been so bad this year scoring-wise. Over at small forward, you know, Paul George is 98 now that Kawhi's back. He's still not going to play monster minutes. He played 24, 25. Um, but it's going to take on a little bit of usage away from Paul George and some of the other guys on the Clippers. So there's some other guys I'm looking at instead. One guy would be Benedict Matherin. 5700 bucks. He you know, he could jump into the starting lineup today. Sometimes they just like him having him come off the bench. But either way, he's going to see good minutes. Wouldn't be surprised if he plays mid-30s uh, without Halliburton if he's out. And we've seen him already put up some big games this year. He's an um, aggressive scorer. He can get you rebounds. We'll have more assist opportunities like the whole team without Halliburton getting his 10 to 12 at night. Over at Power Forward... Your payup is Cat at 87, and I actually don't mind paying up for Cat tonight. He's not that expensive. It's a matchup against Embiid, and those guys have had their history back and forth. Uh, it's a good price tag. He's starting to come on better recently. He shot really well last two games. And you're going to have so much value that on a slate where you don't have too many great superstars to pay up for, you, know, you might as well get to Cat. Might as well try to get to Embiid as well. But power forward, I like Cat. He looks a lot better than the other payups. Markkanen's still great for GPPs at that price tag. And he had a great scoring night last night. And value picks would be Jalen Smith at $4,800. I think he looks strong. He had a great game last night. And over at center, Van Beat is in. The way he's been rolling, we're going to look to try to get to him as well. Uh, he's 
you know, if Maxi's out and Tobias is out, I mean, he's going to probably put up 40 plus points. You know, has flirted with triple doubles recently, really been aggressive with the blocks as well, starting to look a lot better uh, playing with, you know, just playing as best as he, I was showing his best capabilities recently after dealing with some illnesses in the beginning of the season, some injuries. He's looking really, really strong recently. So and these are five picks I like. You're going to be looking at Pacers and Sixers with if they're really shorthanded and kind of build from those two teams. Uh, that's what I got for DraftKings. Let's look at FanDuel. So FanDuel, pretty similar with the types of guys I'm looking at. Point guard, Lillard looks good at his price tag. Um, but I got Shake Milton at 36, just 100 more than the minimum on both sides. He's going to be a great option. Melton looks good at 56. I like Melton for 2K less, but still a reasonable pick. And then McConnell, if he's going to be starting, he looks great on both sides as well. $4,000 on FanDuel. Over at Shooting Guard, put in Benedict Matherin. I mean, if Halliburton is out, they're going to need somebody to step up and score and facilitate a little bit. And we still have some questionable pieces on the Spurs, which would impact them a little bit. But, you know, right now, Sixers and the Pacers are the two teams that kind of expect to be shorthanded today. Uh, Clarkson for 59 looks decent. But, you know, there's, like I mentioned, the Sixers and the Pacers are the two teams I'm looking at heavily. Small forward is not the best position here. I like healed right now. I mean, you could get to Edwards if you wanted to. You could get to Markinen if you wanted to uh, for a couple hundred more. But right now I got healed, not looking at get to Paul George. Leonard is cheap, but he's just not playing that many minutes, and it's kind of been rusty. So I don't trust him. And not great values here. Maybe you can look at Thibel or House if he's starting. Probably House looks better than Thibel. Over at power forward, once again, position is not the best in terms of pay up, so I like getting to Cat at 93. Miles um, Turner would be another option. Markinen. And for values would be Jalen Smith at 53. Given, you know, he can get you a double double and get you some block shots, and that's for kind of it for the most part. And then at center, got to Embiid on both sides, only eleven five on Fanduel. It's a nice price tag. You know, Turner looks decent if uh, against the Magic I and mean, could rack up some blocks there. Nurkic is cheap if you wanted to go look to him. He could grab a boatload of rebounds against this uh, Jazz team. But ultimately, you're going to have the value elsewhere, so you might as well get to the best pay up today, which is Embiid. And probably the second best payup, in my opinion, or based on position, would be like Cat. But that's what I got. Post on Twitter if things change once we get some definitives on some of these questionable guys. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some NFL videos out later today and probably early tomorrow. We'll see. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.